This is a good start, isn't it? Hi everybody, I'm Paul and this little world right here is Rio Driving School. So if you are learning to drive for the first time, preparing for a driving test, or even training to become a driving instructor, then yes, you've definitely come to the right place. You're gonna meet, uh, you're gonna see a lot of useful stuff on this channel. Today, we are in Litchfield for a mock driving test. So, in Litchfield, I have the lovely Kelsey with me today. So, hi, Kelsey. Hi. Hi. Um, now, Kelsey's mum, Lisa, has asked me to assess her driving today. Kelsey's driving um, in preparation for a test. So, it's going to be my job now to put Kelsey on a mock driving test in and around Litchfield, try and expose those weaknesses. Unlike a real driving test, we are going to be pulling over from time to time and discussing uh, any little bits that I'm not quite happy with. So uh, follow along and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Kelsey, have you got any questions or concerns before we begin? No? No? We're all good then? So what I'd like you to do is to follow the road ahead at all times. All well, let me ask you actually, do you want a real mock driving test that I've got in the sat nav or do you want me to make up a route today? Oh, I don't mind. You can make one up for you. You want me to make something up? Yeah. That's fine. And um, where where driving is concerned generally, have you got any thoughts about weak areas? Or do you feel good about all of it? Uh, I don't really know. No? Well, we'll, fi mind, we'll but... find out then, won't we? So, yeah, when you're ready, follow the road ahead and at the end of this road, turn right, please. Don't worry about going the wrong way, I don't care. All right. Okay. Kelsey sometimes gets left, left and right mixed up. So at the end of the road, turn and rock, please.
you think you could have got the car going when that other car was turning in? I don't know. What's he, what's he doing now? Why is he waiting? Um, because it's on red. Isn't the line there? Yeah, you bring the car forward slow and wait it to Bring the car forward. I think he's. Go on, bring it forward now and just wait at the line. He was about to lose his patience. He was waiting for you. He's not allowed to flash his lights. He was waiting for you to take the initiative. We'll talk about that in a bit. Follow the road ahead, use the right hand lane, signpost in Tamworth. tricky this time of day isn't it? There's a lot going on. Talk to me about what you're thinking here. We've got to turn right. What are you going to do? Wait till it goes, change his colour. Oh. Yeah. And then, then I'm going to have to look like, white right there and all. Unless yeah. I think I have to push the race, can I should go? Yeah, push go. forward in a straight line, get second gear and then complete the turn steering or you want to get all the way around the corner, straighten up the wheels and then get second gear. Either either, you shouldn't really do the two at the same time because it's now down to a steering error, okay? <clears throat>
when the examiner asks you to pull over in a situation like this and you're thinking to yourself, I shouldn't really do that because the curb is lowered there. If he says it's okay, then you may do it because he's testing you on something else. Right. Now, just let's just go back in our mind to the bit where I started helping you out at the, you remember the busy junction with the traffic lights? Okay, so <clears throat> talk to me about that. What was you thinking? What was going through your mind at the time? Um, you said it out loud, didn't you? I'm never going to get out here, am I? happening at the time. Oh yeah, I remember which one you're about. Yeah, um, there was just loads of hundreds of cars. Mm-hmm. And you were looking for a gap. There didn't seem to be one, did there? No. But, but, then, but then what happened? Oh, the traffic lights. So the traffic lights stop people moving. Yeah. There were some people waiting at the traffic lights. Those lights were going to change. <clears throat> but what else? Well, let me, but I didn't, yeah, he didn't could. know that he could do that. I right. Could, I, I could do that. Yeah, he, he deliberately held back, didn't he? Well, was, you you, you thought at the time, well, he's got to stop because of those traffic lights, but the line was much further along. He'd held back to let you out. Yeah. But that situation, if you, if you think that's going on, if you think that's happening, just raise your hand up and say thank you, because if you don't, do that and you t typically as a l new driver it might take a little bit longer getting the car moving he might lose his patience as he started to lose his patience and start to creep forward he was thinking she's not going to move she's not going to move and take the opportunity i'm going to close that gap up because i've got a delivery to make yeah so just make you want to be looking out for the lines on the road where is that line some people will flash their headlights you're not supposed to do that but some people do it look at the person in the vehicle as well they, they might do that to you again you're not supposed to gesture highway code says that because it, it can be confusing to other road users okay but if you think it's for you raise your hand up and make sure it's safe checking both ways and then slowly bring the car forward making sure it's still safe all right cool Drive on when it is safe, please. Okay. Now, why did I pull you up behind this car? Because it's awkward. Yeah, very awkward. So, what are you thinking now? I've got to wait for all these cars. Should I just get feet ready? That would be a good start. You're looking. What are you looking for? The car. Uh, no cars. What? Yeah. Is it weird being f 
filmed. Yeah. Why? What are you? What are you sensing right now? Oh, I don't know. It's just weird. Is it? Is it strange because you're being filmed, or is it strange because we're not talking like we normally do? Yeah, I think that's quite weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like sitting with a stranger, isn't it? Yeah. And that is the experience you're going to have when you're on your driving test. You don't know that examiner. You can't say, hey, how did you get on at the weekend? Did you enjoy your meal with the wife or anything like that? You, you can't. They're going to make small talk to try and put you at ease. Yeah. But they don't want any details, really. They don't really care. They're just trying to settle you down so that you do a good job. Yeah. But yeah, I understand. I think, my opinion is, they need more of them signs, speed limit signs. Yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, because half the time there ain't even any, or like, it's just not on. Start now. Can you get the car on the move with all this pressure behind Should you? Should I keep my left? Should I have kept that on or not? No, because you're going to drive away now. Drive away when it's safe. So what are you thinking now? How are we going to deal with this one? Now, have you not looked? That's better.
quickly after this mini roundabout, there's a turn on the left. What, are we going straight over? Yeah, you're going to go straight over and then left turn here. Just be careful with this woman. So turn, turn, turn left into this area. Thankfully you told the driver behind us. And I want you to choose any space you like and reverse into it. I think we're going to move forward for a different one. It's not a bad idea, but why, yeah. why, why do I think that? Because it'll be, too, it'll be the one next to Before you move, just check over and make sure nothing's coming around you. I think it was. You know, one in five accidents happen on car parks. Really? Yes. Yeah, the original position that you got yourself in wasn't a bad one. It was you would have ended next. right next yeah. to that expensive car yeah, if I something do. goes wrong. I don't really want to, yeah, I don't really want to the expensive car to be honest. Okay, so whenever you're ready. Which way is the car swinging? Towards me, is it? There's nothing there. I know, but look, hang on, stop there. Look in there. Yeah. Now look through the back window. You can now see what's going on to the sides of the car, can't you? You've you got look, much more of I could see that with that. I get it, I get it. But you, what you won't see is when you're looking in that mirror, you'll see a little bit of what's going on to the sides of the car, but you won't see the person with the trolley that's coming from over there that's going to move right around the back of your car just as you're looking that way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I would be checking all around every pane of glass. Okay. All right. You are quite right to use your door mirrors for your accuracy, but you need to be checking for people. As well. Was it going down both sides of the car. Yeah. But this one. Just even it out there. Even out the space. I think this one's the long one. Yeah. All good? Yep. Yeah, well done. Yes, I agree with you, that's fine. Uh, and yeah, my feel free to make adjustments, that's not a problem. But if you are going backwards, you better have checked behind you again. It only takes a moment for somebody who's walking back with their shopping to come into this space. Do you think they're going to walk all the way around the long way to get to that red car or are they going to take the shortcut across? Shortcut. Of course they are. I would. I agree. So, yeah, cool. Okay, then. Observations. The examiner is looking for three things with your manoeuvre. 
COA, COA, control of the car, observations and accuracy. You've got your accuracy, you're in, inside the, the space, lawful wheels. Control of the car was fine, you, 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 were, you were controlling it, keeping the speed low, it wasn't rolling the wrong way at all. Observations needs tightening up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, need to be making sure we check it. When I asked you a question as we were reversing back, I said, Which way is the car swinging? You're coming into this space, and the front of the car is swinging over here, isn't it? Yeah, that was a little clue because if the car is swinging out, I need to make sure there's no one there to come in. Yeah, you know, like when you do the parallel park. Yeah. You know when it's time to start steering, when you get around the back of that car, you're looking over that shoulder, aren't you, into the blind spot. Same same reason, no different. All right. Yes. You're getting cold now with the air con. Yeah. Two and a half. Okay. That's fine. Drive away when you're ready. Yeah. We're going to make our way the same way we came in. So to, to the giveaway, turn right. I was yawned, it's popped my ears. You're right. Yeah. You're okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just dying, it's alright, don't worry about it. Well, I know you're not at your best today. This makes for a more interesting little assessment, isn't it?
doing that again now, isn't it? Just mm. put that back on. Yeah. Oh, that a That's tiny, isn't it? situations like this you can put the car into neutral and rest your leg briefly for a while because it might be a minute or so before you get the car going again you can see that large lorry coming towards yeah. us so just give your leg a rest I'm 
marvellous. Is that in? Yes, it too? lovely. Looking, Perfect. Look in the top mirror there, can you see? Perfect, that was perfect. Engine off. Relax. Okay, how'd you feel? Alright. Yeah. Was it fair? Was the assessment fair? Yeah. Have we done any roads today that, that you're not used to? Yeah. Which ones? That one there with the fast island. Oh, right, coming off the A38 towards Litchfield. Mm. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about the A38. We have seen the A38 together before. Obviously, we can't do every single junction together yet because we, we've not long started doing work on dual carriageways. But how do we recognise when we're coming on to a dual carriageway, first of all? Do you remember when I said to you, follow the signs to Birmingham? Yeah. Yeah. What did it say, Birmingham? What kind of road was it? What did it say it was? A38. Yeah, does that mean that... Dual carriageway. Uh, A38 is a very well-known dual carriageway. You can have other signs warning you that you're coming towards a dual carriageway. Can you think, from your theory test, what signs tell you you're coming towards a dual carriageway? There, there, there are signs, so I'd have a look at that. Um, I started to worry a little bit when you came around the corner in third gear and we we got to get the car going quite quickly up that ramp. That ramp is the slip road, isn't it? What's the purpose of the slip road? What, what? To build your speed up. To right. How can we possibly do that in a higher gear? I want to know. Well, the car's trying to get up a hill, yeah, so yeah, it's, strug it's struggling with that. One. Yeah, it's struggling, so yeah. yeah. Second gear, foot to the floor, get it going, up to about 50 miles per hour, about, so that you can then assess what's going on on the main road. I had to step in and help you out a little bit there, because if you were coming onto that situation too slowly, that's quite dangerous. Okay, then we were carrying on following the signs to Birmingham, which led us onto a road where I then said to you, pick up the signs for Litchfield. You didn't uh, um, read the second part of the information, so you saw on the road it said Litchfield, uh, you correctly positioned the car, thought great, but then we were coming towards a roundabout and you're in that right hand lane and I wasn't convinced you knew where you were going to go. I did ask you which exit we're looking for there and you weren't sure. So you've got to look for your sign. The sign on there said it was right, it was the third exit. The next problem though is we're still on a high speed road. Yes, it's a roundabout, but it's a very large roundabout and we can get the car moving and we should get the car moving. We need to know a couple of things. It's very important. We need to know which exit we're looking for is the third exit. We need to position the car promptly to the left hand side after the second exit. It will be marked on the road as well. Um, and we need to be doing this quite quickly because I was getting tense, I know you were getting tense, we got that BMW that was looking to overtake you on the left because we weren't moving across early enough and fast enough. So we definitely need to work on that and we shall, alright. What did you think about your manoeuvre? I mean, you're re reversing into a bay. I mean, I didn't get it first time, but it was but you got there, all right you? when it was done, yeah. Yeah. What learnings have, have you got from that situation? Uh, look over your back hundred times. Yeah, if you're going backwards, make sure you look through the back window. You're not just looking in your door mirrors for accuracy, but you're looking around the car for other problems. So if you were on a supermarket car park, you're going to have people with their kids pushing trolleys towards their car. You're not going to see them just by looking in that mirror. But you will see, if you're looking through the back window, you'll see them through your peripheral vision, yeah? It's really important. Um, right at the beginning of the assessment, we've already been through this, but we'll reiterate slightly. If someone, remember we're at that stop junction, we've got the traffic lights on the left, we've got endless stream of traffic on the right. You've got to look at the drivers. Sooner or later, somebody's bound to let you bring the car forward. They'll hold the car back. 
they might flash their lights yeah okay and if they're holding the car back just thank thank them put your thumb up or something and then slowly bring the car forward all right it is um it is a pressure i know you're not used to this um hopefully you get, you, you've got some ideas today to take away so that when we get together next you're just going to be like a little bit stronger when you're driving around with your mom have you have you had situations like that to deal with or whereabouts are you going with your mom when you're driving uh, we've done a lot of busy islands well big islands mm -hmm. but we haven't got it's not really been as busy as it is when i come yeah. with you because when i come with you it's like yeah busy time to well the a38 is a very dangerous road it's a the traffic on it can potentially move very very fast up to 70 miles an hour we've got to be sharp so we know exactly what we're doing to protect ourselves but don't worry we'll work on it all right have you got any other comments no okay then everyone well i hope you all got a few things out of this as well uh, obviously me and Kelsey will be back at the drawing board working on one or two things and we will see you again soon no doubt for a revised version um, bye for now